Go. Okay. Hi, guys. Clucking it up here at Clucking It Up. Welcome to the farm. If this is your first time joining us, which probably it's not. But today we are breaking squash. And kind of wanted to show you guys some of the squash that we have available right now. Um, I actually just, this is a, the kabocha squash. Um, it's like super brilliant. I love the color of this. It's amazing. Um, but I just baked one off yesterday and kind of did a, um, like a photo, I don't know, sequence I guess is what you'd want to call it of what it was like when we cut it, when we baked it, um, kind of the flavor profile of it when it was finished. Um, so if you want to see what that all looks like and what we had to say about that, definitely check back to yesterday and this morning. Um, but I wanted to show you what the whole squash looked like. Um, kind of looks like a little baby pumpkin, but much more brilliant in color, much red, much more red. Um, so. Um, some of and what was squash. the name of that one again? This is a, I believe a kabocha is how you say it. It is, it's actually a Japanese squash. This rind is actually 100% edible. Um, so it's used in a lot of tempuras, um, curry. Uh, I've seen some recipes for a curry soup that actually sounds really well, or really good. Um, we were just sent a recipe for a cheesecake using Ooh, this squash. Ooh, that sounds good. Um, it actually used just squash and goat cheese. Julianne um, Eccleson just sent that to us, and that's nice. really good. So we might have to give that a shot, too. But I also saw a recipe for a yogurt parfait using this. Oh, one. yummy. Yeah. Um, this is a buttercup squash. Um, this one's one of my favorites. I love buttercup squash. It makes me think of sweet potatoes. Um, just the flavor of it is just so sweet potatoey to me. Um, red Hubbard squash. He looks like a giant heart. Um, I've not ever cooked one, so I don't know um, actually what they taste like. Obviously, everybody knows what this guy is. Pumpkin. Probably of all of this squash family, this is my least favorite. <laughs> To me, it has no flavor. It just is bleh. So, yeah. Um, and then this is a blue Hubbard squash. Looks like Yoda. Yeah. Kind of makes me think of like some kind of weirdo witchcraft. Um, like, I don't know, a witch's nose. Big, knobbly, warty, kind of funky looking thing. So, um, I have baked one of these off. And they do have flavor, much better than pumpkin. Not my favorite so far, but we'll see, you know, once we get done doing whatever we're gonna do with it, how I feel about it after that. So, we are gonna go about breaking squash, not breaking bad, very different. And it's not breaking bad squash. It's not, no. It's no, actually pretty good. Squash. We are actually gonna use every single one, so. Once we get them broken on our pans, they're actually all going to get roasted. This is how we do it. Clean plastic bag. Please do not use a dirty plastic bag. That would be weird. Squash in a bag. Squash meat rock. All right. Bam. And, and just like that. Hubbard squash. Nice. And I do have, I'll dump it out on the tray so okay. take a look at the colors of the flesh too. Um, I have actually already saved some of this blue Hubbard squash seed so that we can grow some this next season. But we kind of wanted to compare all of this squash Mostly so you guys can see the color. There's not that much meat in that one. Of the flesh and, um, and whatnot. You maybe want to slide this down to the sun. Alright, so we've got broken. There we go, Hubbard. perfect. So you can see the, the color of the flesh there. 
Now we're going to move on to the red Hubbard. I love this color so much. Alright. Breaking squash 101. Clean bag. Big rock. Hubbard. Uh, the flesh is much darker than yeah, the blue Hubbard. It really is. We'll definitely be saving some seeds off of this guy. So side by side comparison of Hubbard squash. Look at the color difference. I mean it's just Night crazy. Night difference, yeah. yeah. So my guess is this is going to be a much sweeter, flavorful squash. Kind of like a sweet, blue. sweet potato. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of the color we get on that one is sweet potato. All right. What's now, going to be your next pumpkin. one? The We're pumpkin? Gonna go with pumpkin? We're going to do the pumpkin. I think she just likes smashing things, guys. Maybe. It is kind of fun. <clears throat> Have some... Anger issues? Grab a pumpkin! <laughs> Wait, isn't that a band, Smashing Pumpkins? Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Pretty great band, by the way, too. A what? Pretty great band, also. Oh, yeah? I don't know that I've ever listened to You that. have. Oh, I have. Hey, this one's hard. Oh, she got it. You want to smack one more time, or are you good? Different bags, guys, per pumpkin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just as a heads up. Ooh, really white so on the inside. Is really light. Probably why I just kind of feel like pumpkin is meh. Yeah, that would explain Look, it. No flavor. Nothing right. screams at me like, whoa, we need to eat you. That sounded really weird. You just took it to a weird place. <laughs> 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 yes. So, an easy way to clean out any of these squash, um, you know, to get all of the membrane and the seeds and, and whatnot, is to use an ice cream scooper. Just scoop it right out, easy as pie. And yes, you can make pie. And yes, you can, if you like pumpkin. <laughs> I do not like pumpkin. All right, buttercup squash. We'll see if it'll break the same way. Batter up. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's a little demented, guys. Sometimes. It's okay. Sometimes. She has anger issues. Not really. That's kind of the same color as the first one. Kind of the same color kind of in between the Hubbard yeah, and actually. The, the blue Hubbard and the red Hubbard. And we can actually definitely slide that. So, there's some color profile for you so of different that. squash. Right. Which is really kind of interesting to see the... Hubbard, butter, and the red, red Hubbard. Hubbard. And pumpkin. pumpkin. So, let's see. Smell... Smells like dirt. Um, just because I don't know. It actually doesn't smell like dirt. Um, I'm not sure what that smell is. It smells like pumpkin. Well, that's a plus. Right? Um, see, a red Hubbard smells. Oh, that's like a sweet smell. Like a cantaloupe sweet potato? No, it's not cantaloupe. It's not like the kabucha. The coop, it was like, when I cut it, and you can actually cut the kabucha squash. It's really super thin. Which we'll be doing shortly. Um, no, that's the one. Um, I did that yesterday. Okay, I thought but you were doing that again. it was super easy. No, it was super easy to cut. Where these are much a little thicker skin, harder to cut. That you got to smash. Yeah. This smells like sugar. Huh. And that's the Red Hubbard. Uh, this is the Red Hubbard. So I'm kind of interested to see. Almost has an apple-y. 
It's almost like a sugar apple kind of yeah. kind of smell. Interesting. Right. And that's the buttercup. This, this is the buttercup squash. I would almost say it smells like cucumber. It does. So. I actually got a little bit of cucumber smell off the last one too. Did ya? That one has a very pungent cucumber smell. Yeah. To me. Get out of here. Hey, Bumble. Hey there, little honeybee. You cannot have my squash. This is a show. Thank you. Um, hmm. What does that smell like? Kind of melony, not cantaloupe, but not super sweet either. Um, hmm. Maybe a almost kind of a cross between a cucumber and a melon. Really? It's a cucumber melon squash. Hey. It's fruit. I don't think melon so much though. No? No, but it's fruit. It has a fruit, very fruity smell. Maybe like, almost maybe like cherry? I'm gonna go with cherry. It's kind of a cucumber cherry smell. Huh, interesting. It's kind of weird. That is what each of the squash, obviously we don't have butternut squash out here, acorn squash. Most of you guys know what those look like on the inside. Most of you know what pumpkin looks like on the inside. But these, the other three here are kind of, actually the other four, but there's pictures already that we did yesterday of what the kabucha squash looked like. Um, just so, yeah, you guys can see the color differences, um, size difference some things like that and we're probably going to take each of these and um we may just turn all of them into pie and then that way we can um you know kind of have like a pie tasting contest of what squash makes the better pie or we may do i don't know some muffins or i don't know we'll do something with them so that we can test each flavor into into something different but for now we'll scoop out seeds we'll definitely be saving seeds from the red hubbard um, we'll probably save some pumpkin seeds and of course the butter, buttercup because this one's my favorite. I love this just roasted with a little bit of olive oil and just like that. I think it's fantastic. The flavor is amazing to me. But that is Breaking Squash. 101. And kind of color profiles and a little bit of flavor profile we kind of get kind of told you what i think they smell like anyway hope it's helpful hope you guys aren't scared to um try a different squash now because they're all amazing actually yeah. i can definitely see this one being very desserty as well as the kabucha squash being very desserty um because i think they have a very sweet profile these probably would be better as um, some soups or roasted, um, nice. some things like that. Pumpkin, I think just feed it to the animals, whatever. Natural, de <laughs> natural dewormer. Natural dewormer. And that's something, whatever seeds you don't save, if you're saving seeds, or if you're not, for any of these squash, um, feed them to your livestock, feed them to your chickens. It's a natural dewormer. Um, yeah, get rid of some bugs. And we actually will we do at the end of the year um, or at the end of the season we'll just break pumpkins just like this and throw them in the chickens and the goats and, and we'll give them to the cows now too so we'll probably give them each but hope it helps hope you're not scared of squash this is really fun and once we get some baked off we'll show ya we'll do another video It and really I does. People tell me when they walked in my house yesterday, are you baking cake? No, I'm baking squash. So, huh. that was kind of fun. But All right, guys.
Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it's helpful. Let us know what your favorite yeah. is as well in the comments below. Yeah, definitely do. And if you need squash, we, we have, have some. We, we have, have a bunch. And acorn and spaghetti squash and some banana squash. Yes, we do. So if there is a squash that uh, we need to break open and talk about the flavor profile, we can do that too. Let's see, what do we have in here? Got, got your acorn. These are banana squash. Banana squash. Butternut squash. Acorn squash. Spaghetti. Spaghetti squash. And of course, little pumpkins. Yeah. If you have any recipes, we'd love to have them too. All right, guys. Y'all have a good one. See you later.